When should you use MDX and when should you use DAX? The answer depends on the data source. Analysis Services Multidimensional Models use MDX. On the other hand, PowerPivot and the Tabular Models use DAX in order to obtain information. How easy is it to translate MDX to DAX, for example? Let's look at this MDX example. Here we have some information which we can see some of the data is missing. We can also see categories where the data is not available for components and unknown. When we look at the equivalent DAX query, we only see information where data is available. Therefore, the equivalent DAX query does not show the same result. Therefore, we need to be careful when replicating MDX into DAX. Here is another MDX example. Here, we can see the data has been split for the year 2007 and also for 2008. We can see categories for products where no data is available. When we try to replicate this in DAX, we use Summarize and we also use Calculate Table, which provides us with a table of data for us to use in order to obtain the information. Again, we are trying to get the data for 2007 and also for sales 2008. When we execute this query, however, we notice that 2008 information is missing. This is because the calculate table part of the DAX statement is filtering the data to the year 2007. This means we cannot see any of the 2008 data. This is referred to as the context of the filter. In order to start with an empty restriction, we can add the product category information in too, using calculate table again, add columns, and we also use all as well. This gives us an empty context in which we can see all of the data which is not restricted to certain years. So we have 2007 data and we also have 2008 as well. We can see this from the result set. Since we have used all, we can also see data for categories. To summarize, when we use MDX for multidimensional cubes and DAX for tabular models and power pivot, we need to check our results carefully when translating from MDX to DAX.